Let's roll. This is about a couple of different things. Primarily, it's about how the weather's always bad on Memorial Day, but we'll get to that in a second. It's also about how you can take virtually any piece of meat and tenderize it by braising it or parboiling it, and then put it aside in the refrigerator, pretty much fully cooked, and then take it out at the last minute and grill it. Put a nice crisp crust on it. Now, how's that relate to the bad weather on Memorial Day? Well, you do all of that, you get ready to grill, and then here in the Northeast at least, Memorial Day, which we all think of as the beginning of summer, is 50 degrees and raining. So what this piece is really about is getting that meat ready for the grill and then broil it because it's raining outside. So we're gonna run through all those steps right now using spare ribs. Nice and brown on both sides. Season them with salt and pepper. And this is going to take a while, but everything is going to take a while except for the last step, which is the one you're going to be doing when you're feeding your guests. You want this pan really hot before you put the meat in it, good and hot, and use peanut oil or neutral oil like grapeseed oil, corn or canola. For a minimalist recipe, this is, gets on the, not complicated, but long side, because we're really cooking the meat three different ways. We're searing it, then I'm gonna braise it in the oven, and then finally grill it or broil it. But each of these adds a layer of complexity, a layer of flavor that you couldn't get with one of them alone. So we're browning it off, which is gonna attribute to the flavor of the sauce, what's ultimately gonna be the sauce, and then, when we make the sauce, we're tenderizing it, and then at the end we're gonna grill or broil it and get a, a great crisp exterior on the final product. So we'll go through each of these. Nice. So this is gonna take five or 10 minutes per side, and since we have two batches, this is a 15 or 20 minute operation all the way through, so I'm gonna take care of that and come back when I'm ready. Now you know that The Minimalist is very concerned with your health, so this is another one of my heart conscious recipes because we're not using any butter. So, it's cooled off the pan a little bit. Got a nice amount of fat in there. And we're gonna to toast some spices, or not really toast. We're gonna sear some spices. Ginger, a few chilies, a couple of cinnamon sticks, and some allspice berries. Just cook that for 30 seconds or so. And put the meat back in in the meantime. Now we can crowd the pot as much as we want because we're not browning anymore. We're braising with some dark beer. And now that is gonna get covered and you can cook it in a slow oven, 250, 300 degrees or so, or on top of the stove, just bubbling away. Cook that for until they're soft. So it could be a half hour for things like chicken, could be four hours for something like brisket, short ribs. But for these ribs, I'm guessing an hour, an hour and a half. So I'll be back when they're ready. So it's been about an hour and a half. Nicely done, very aromatic ribs. Really, the smell is fantastic. Now here you have a couple choices. You can go straight to the grill or the broiler is we're gonna do because it's Memorial Day and it's raining. So the ribs go onto a sheet tray and we're gonna brown those. Meanwhile, the sauce is gonna get strained.
and reduced, which just means boiled until there's less of it. So this is going in the oven under the broiler. I mean, I know it's inappropriate to eat ribs with a knife and fork, and you can see they're just falling off the bone. I'll give that a second. You know, they got this little bit of heat from the chilies, which is nice, and you can taste the exotic spices, the allspice, the cinnamon. But basically, they're grilled ribs. <laughs>